all you cool cats and kittens, or cool science cats and kittens, I should say. Welcome to the first episode of Laika and the Science Cat with me, my cat, Cersei. Today we are going to be doing a fun experiment on the principle of Bernelli's principle. Um, Cersei seems like she's a little, uh, she's got a lot of energy, so I think that we'll just do the experiment first and then we'll talk about the principle uh, afterwards. So, Cersei, will you be of some help to me and go find me two cans? Cersei, not two cans, two cans and a bunch of plastic straws, about 12 is good, and one plastic straw to hold in your hand and you blow through. I want you to think about what you know about force and motion. If I blow through the straw while the can is just sitting on the table, it moves a little bit, but not very much. So let me try it now with it sitting, excuse me, Cersei, on top of these straws. See, when it's sitting on top of the straws, it creates a less stable, uh, less stable support. You can kind of think of it like wheels on a car. It allows the can to move around a little bit more. If we place the two cans on top of the 12 straws, about a half an inch apart, um, what I want to do is I want to try to blow through the straw and make the two cans move. What do you think is going to happen if I blow through the straw between the two cans? Hmm. Based off of what we know, do you think that the two cans are going to get closer together or farther apart? Let's see what happens. All right, drum roll, please. Did you expect that to happen? I said, did you expect that to happen? We did not. So like me, when I blew the air between the two cans, you probably thought that the two cans were going to separate and go opposite directions. Well, what you've just witnessed actually was the opposite. The two cans actually did what? they hit each other, they came together. Brunelli's principle states that when you create lower pressure between two objects, that that can bring them together. When you're blowing air through a straw, you're creating a lower pressure zone. The zone is created because the two cans are sitting relatively close together. On the outside of the cans is just stable pressure. And basically what happens is this lower pressure zone, it, it just gets a little bit lower than the stable pressure on the outside, which causes the cans to shake a little bit and then come together and hit each other. So this idea that as speed increases, pressure decreases, and as speed decreases, pressure increases, can be applicable to a lot of different things that we see in life how birds are able to fly in the air, or how airplanes are able to stay up in the sky. All of these embody Bernelli's principle. Yes, Circe, including two cans. Well, that is all from Laika and the Science Cat today. I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration, and I'll see you cool cats later.